Well, scorer Chris Hay and Mark Walters, who scored a sensational goal against Tranmere last weekend, were both missing. That left places in the side for Alex Smith and Steve Coe. We join match commentator Peter Brackley in the first half. Off we go then. Albion attacking the goal to our right. Hurt to Swindon, both teams. Joint leaders, along with Bradford. Not too many would have predicted that at the outset of the season. Ray Harford among them, as he admitted in his programme notes. Here's Brian Burrows. He's being borrowed from Coventry. Bob Taylor, linking with Hamilton. Taylor with a shot! And Swindon with sufficient representation back there to snuff out the immediate danger. Here's Andy Hunt. It's been a fine start to the season by him. That's Raven doing well. Cleared by Casper, but only to Richard Snakers. Hamilton. Lining up the shots. Raven with Allison. We've got the better of him. This is Bullock. And that was an excellent strike. Tipped over by Miller. Allison making his presence felt, and then the shot by Bullock, nudged away by Miller. The last minute of the first half, Allison barging into Burgess. Nothing wrong with the tackle though. The referee decides. So here's Ty Gooden, Alex Smith, just too long for Allison. Somewhat untidily, Albion have managed to clear, at least I thought they had. Here's Flint. McDonald in quickly. Gooden. Bullock. Now Smith. Steve Coe. Can't beat Miller. Snakers. In that deep, threatening position. On the ball again now. Trying to control matters. Forward by Flynn to Snakers. Peel for hat ball. Referee some distance away. This is Kilban. In for Hunt. Bullock. Then Gooden. Excellent play by him. Still tied. Gooden! Terrific shot. Beaten away by Miller. Really let fly there. Ty Gooden. Denied by the agility, the expertise of Alan Miller with that flying save. Burrows. Taylor. On for Hunt. Now can he turn here? Still Andy Hunt. Did well to cross it in. There's Taylor! Agonizingly close from Bob Taylor. He turned extremely well. Turned a half chance into a decent one, just past the post. Allison, the target, but bodies in the way. So here's Andy Hunt, Pesky Solido racing through. And very alert goalkeeping by Fraser Digby. Flick trying to loft it past him. Here's Pesky Solido. Down at him with the tackle. More oh, credit there to Fraser Digby for his anticipation. Smith. Now Ian Hamilton looking to drive at the Swindon defence. Pesky Solido. Head off to Kilban. Off the head of flashing wide. And he beats the ground in frustration, Sean Flynn. That's Bullock. The fall here for McDonald. And it's squirmed away for the corner. That might have been his first in a Swindon jersey. Bullock. Co. 
Hamilton. Curry getting back to his feet rather gingerly. Andy Hunt. Hasn't really been able to influence the game too much today, Andy Hunt, but Allison certainly can now for Swindon. One against three defenders, but he nearly forced his way through. The Swindon fans baying for a penalty. A few glares from McMahon and Co. off the bench. But I don't think they had a case. This is Darrell Burgess. McDermott. Now Flynn. Still short fit, did well there. Still there, Andy Hunt. No power in the header. Well, Leroy, Swindon could have gone top if they'd won yesterday. Do you think they deserved all three points with those claims for a penalty? Yeah, definitely. You know, they, got, they gave as good as they got. And, um, you know, the penalty incident, I, I mean, at, at first it's six of one and a half a dozen of the other because Wayne's pushing and the lad's pulling him. But you see, as he's gone for the tackle, he's brought Wayne down and that's a definite penalty in my eyes. Man, your boss, you wouldn't fancy losing. The Baggies dominated the first half of the Hawthorns, but the best chance fell to Swindon. Darren Bullock denied by Alan Miller's fingertips. The Baggies lost their 100% home record, although Bob Taylor very nearly preserved it. West Brom nil, Swindon nil.